All right. We got oatmeal and raisin cookies today. This is the first coat of the drywall mud. These are the finishers. Looks like they did pass number one in 63. Here they are in 62. Got the stilts on. Hey guys. Buenos yeah. tardes. Qual es mi nombre? Hoy. Gringo loco, right? Gringo loco. Gringo loco? Si. No, I'm not crazy. See that wand he's got right there? It's about a thousand dollars. Hey, hey, I have cookies. Yeah, cookies. Good. So he wants you to run that gun. That whole cylinder holds all the mud, so they got it, they mix it up in here. He hooks it up and he pumps it, and it fills that whole shaft. And the ladies follow up with the trowel right over the tape. And this is the first layer. <clears throat> and uh, so the first thing they're doing is just, looks like they're doing the vertical seams first. Uh, or no, those are nail holes. Those will be nail holes. Looks like they're just getting going. Okay. Every, every mud crew works a little bit different. So first they're hitting some of the screw spots and all right, let's walk over to 63. This takes them several days to come back and uh, keep adding more and more mud. And let me show you the, the who's a what's a. Let's see what they got going here. Oh, there's another guy's over here. Oh, good, these guys got the music finally. <clears throat> hey, hey! <clears throat> Buenos tardes! So he's following through, putting up the corner bead. Okay. Corner bead, corner bead, corner bead. Hey, man. Hola. How are you? Como esta? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, over here, uh, uh, Gringo Loco, uh, comprar uh, cookies. Yeah. Over there, cookies. Oh. So, and wouldn't you know it, it's the lunch hour. They like said the radar looked terrible this morning. We could have poured that dag on slab. I mean, it doesn't look like a, um, uh, it's going to be a, a rain free today, but by now, that slab would have been done and they would have been started to finish that slab, but good thing is we don't need, need it right now, but you know, we're just trying not to screw up and waste a lot of money, you know, by having a, if the mud's too wet and it rains, so you got to get huge sheets of the, uh, visqueen plastic and just drape it over there and let it all let the rain blow over um but we just didn't want to take a chance of that anyway anyway back to pushing 